returning once again to the land of Metopia. Yes. For the last time, maybe. We're gonna go, de go take out the Dark Lord Ganondorf in his evil tower. Yes. Which we've never done in any other game. Only Metopia lets us do this. Well, oh, Metopia lets us do is without Link. Do it. I mean, yeah. We well, you know what I mean. Lonk. Lonk is canon. <clears throat> but we don't have Lonk. We have a bunch of other assholes in our party. We could get Speedrunner Link. Stink. Pick well designed meat characters that you like. It's a bear! Well, you can, you can, uh, I can pick them once you share the screen. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Forgot that part. I gotta start the stream before I do that part, or else it do doesn't work. It's weird like that. Yes, go. I see it. We've got a bear, we got Uraraka. Is that how you spell it? Aaron? Uh, the Seven Deadly Sins, maybe? Uraraka. I like the bear. I, I, I still think my favorite, uh, one of my favorite, uh, MHA characters is, uh, is Sue. Oh yeah, the frog girl. Yeah. Who looks the most elegant? Oh, it's Boruto Sakura. Elegant? Yeah, sure, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I would say, uh, okay. Uh, I would, I would have said Hinata, but... Hinata? It doesn't look anything like Hinata, though. Well, for, but that doesn't matter. It's the question is, uh, what looks the most? Well, it matters to me. Well, I mentioned this in the Mario Odyssey finale. Between now and the previous uh, Metopia stream, I found out that Zelos has his very own Wikipedia article. Yes, there, you, are, you there are four Slayers characters which are significant enough to have their their own full Wikipedia articles. <laughs> Colorful threads. Judy wants a heart gown. Yeah, sure. Let's go, heart princess. So, also, between this and the previous stream, I have, uh, I've gone over and cleaned out all the previous parts of the game. Let's see if we can yep. get some tropical lab gear. You have you have all the uh, all the stuff. So we got stuff. We leveled up our party a whole lot because we hit a roadblock with a dragon last time. And that should no longer be an issue. Hopefully. Uh okay. who get Oh she already has it? Shit. She's already wearing the Hawaiian lab gear. Oh, it's 2200 gold. That seems profitable. Tropical lab gear. It's Alola, Alolan lab gear. <laughs> Hello, Mango. So, Hello, Darian. So I did some, uh, some research, and apparently, um, somebody, I don't know if it's the same person or multiple people, but they made, uh, races for uh for a whole bunch of uh pokemon races for dungeons and dragons fourth edition okay what, what do yeah. you mean like they turned pokemon into races yeah into like playable races or npcs just like certain ones yeah like there was uh clefable was one said to be like a moon fairy it is was this like a fan thing um, yeah, they're trying to, yeah, it's like, if you want to home, do, like, a homebrew race. Let me see. It wasn't just that, it was a bunch of stuff. Let me look it up. Home. I was impressed by, by the level of, uh, races. Who is the most orc-like Pokemon? Um, I can't think of any really. Let me see. I'm a. I'm a. Look. Electabuzz is the Oni. Yeah. I guess the Grim Snarl is kind of orcish. 
Come on, let me... Or a primate. Primate. Sorry, my mistake. It wasn't 4th edition. It was 5th edition. Oh. Oh, no. You got an HP banana. Let's see. We're, we're making bank on the rest of this. Obama Snow, Agron, Alolan Marowak... Uh, Iran car? That's a race somebody statted out. Oh, okay. From Bleach. A Dino. That's a Pokemon. Uh, yep. The, uh, Oops. Gen 5 Chansey. A lot of Gen 5 Pokemons are kind of, they're kind of like just knockoffs of Gen 1 Pokemon. The, wasn't that the point? Blaze yeah, kind of. Blastoise. Uh, not a Charizard, though. Lefable. Is there Gengar? Um, yes, Gengar is there. Poison uh, Ghost. Chow. Chow from Sonic. Uh... What's... What's this? Crow a gunk That's Pokemon. Yep. Poison fighting. I think so. I haven't looked up that one. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm stating that. DDD spawn. <laughs> DDD spawn. So, so DDD, the same thing happened to him that happened to Boo. Someone introduced DDD to porn, and he was able to reproduce. Uh, yeah. So, what a so bizarre I, just, thing to be canon in Dragon Ball. It. You know what? That's on brand for Dragon Ball, though. Hey, uh, Boo, I got something to show you today. Uh, Gen 5 was the one gen to do crazy shit like no Gen 1 pokies, and the fans got pissed, and now we can't have anything other than infinite Charizards. I wouldn't say that. Frost Demon. Uh, that That's the Freezer race. Yeah. Frost Glass. Pokemon. Yep. Uh, Although that's basically just a Yuki Ona class. Guard of War. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Guard of War can read, write, and speak common and sylvan, the elven language. Oh. Uh, what else? Galade. Yeah. Oh, no, Sylvan's a different uh, thing. I think that's Fae, Fae language as opposed to Elven. What else? Gerudo. It's good language. Oh, the, the, that's a class. Yeah, the race, not a class. Yeah. But yeah. Granbull. Nathan Four. Explosion in his 90s phase. <laughs> 90s goth. A uh, gore on his race. So I also looked up the like traits of the classes, what people's opinions are on the classes, and yeah. we basically started with the best four that we could have, and then progressively got worse. Maybe not the best four, but the, the warrior and mage. Mage is apparently like super busted, best class in the game, easy. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I, I... Chef, decent all rounder. Cleric's not amazing. None of my classes were great. Tank was the shitter, the worst in the game. Most people <laughs> agreed on that. No wonder you were having trouble at the very end. And, uh, I figured just Cleric would blend well. And it, more importantly, Cleric seemed like a good party to have as the player character, because you can choose who to heal and how. Yeah, is that, is that agreed, or? Oh, I don't know. The, the, the tier list was mostly for computer players. Oh, uh, okay. I was like oh. scientist myself. Scientist is a rated a pretty good class. Oh, you know what else uh, is is a thing? Yeah. Not just Goron, but half Goron. Oh, okay. How's that? I work? guess. Um, that well, baby's see, gonna have a really rough time coming out. Interbreeding between Hylians or Shika and Gorons. I like how they specify. Either the baby either or the mother. With, with however that goes, is gonna have a really hard time. Like, harder than usual. Okay, so we're going back to fight the dragon. Just bought myself a DS Lite so I could play all the handheld Castlevanias again. That's good. DS uh, Lite is alright. 
Uh, half Gorons are generally shunned from Goron society, leaving them to live with Hylians. Half man, half Goron? It's a moron! That, thank you for that. That, that, that came from Darien. <laughs> oh, oh, you're freeing... You're fighting a dragon. Oh, I'll, I'll not do auto battle. What, what do I want to do? I have a... Uh, here's, here's a cool thing that uh, Cleric gets. Righteous Anger is uh, an instant kill with a 50% success rate on non-bosses. Uh oh, that's so a boss. So I use that to get through a lot of those annoying... What are the fiends? The one-hit KO enemies? Oh yeah, because 50%. If you're if you're really lucky, you can take out more than half. And even if you're unlucky, you can still take out some of them. If you're really, really unlucky, you're fucked. Well, just being able to take them out quickly is a huge boom. Oh, hey! Everyone's up to about uh, level 10 relationships or so. You are the best. Cooking for Kenpachi. Yes. It's oh, uh... raw! Enlarge Kenpachi! <laughs> Imagine Kenpachi with... Wait, what happened? I don't know. Oh, Jack fed Kenpachi spicy food so he'd attack, and Kenpachi got mad. It's too spicy. Imagine Kenpachi with the uh, 3D Dot Game Hero sword. You've seen that game, right? I have, yeah. It's... it's what a sword stupid sword idea it was, the sword that takes up the entire screen, but I kind of want more, like, more games like that. <laughs> And it works. Really, it just you should, works. You should play Monster Hunter, then. You get giant swords in that game. Yeah. Or fuck it, get, uh, get Final Fantasy VII Remake. You can play as a guy with a big sword in that game. Oh, by the way, horse folk. Guess what, guess what they are? Half horse, half man? Um, not quite. Furries? Oh, Bojack Horseman. No, keep in mind that this is based off of, uh, like, uh, homebrew races based off of other, like, existing properties. That's why I, I guessed Bojack Horseman, but, uh, no. okay. The, the next answer would be ponies. Yep, you are, you are correct. Do oh, I have Mega Cure? Restoring Hypno. everyone's HP. Okay, let's do that. Hypno Race. Panacea. Come on, Lena! Hypno are commonly lawful or neutral evil. Because <laughs> they kidnap children. Oh, hey. Apparently, you can lower, uh, like, people's dislike if you feed them good stuff enough time. sprinkles I can use. That'd be good. Oh, hey, that's a lot of HP sprinkles. You really did. Oh, yeah. There, was a, there were many, many small monsters slain going back over the original areas of the game again. I want to hype someone. Let's hype Kenpachi. By the way, you're not surprised if somebody statted out uh, Majin as a race. Yeah. I assume it's busted. Um, I think they, they tried to balance it out, but, uh, you're... But they do increase strength and constitution, but your intelligence is reduced by two. Only two, huh? Yeah. Just... But, but considering that, uh... How it works. Anyway. Mill tank, Meowth. The Meowth one was the one that was the most interesting. We did it! Because it's all three Meowth. It's the regular Cantonian Meowth, it's the Alolan Meowth, and the Galarian Meowth. Okay, stuff, stuff's happening again. We got a dragon fruit. Oh, dragon fruit. I get it. Because it actually exists. Hey, I once had a dragon fruit, uh... We I once had a dragon it. fruit... I had a dragon fruit, uh, Pepsi once. Yeah? It was pretty good. Oh. 
Hey, we we cured the dragon. Is is he our friend now, like Dragon Tails? Are we gonna go on an adventure? Oh Let's dear, this is embarrassing. You helped me. Thank like, you very much. I'm Dominic. I'm a dragon, of course. I don't know what happened. Dominic. I think I made a mess of things. Terribly sorry. Stomping around can be very tiring. Oh, okay. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, that resolves that, I guess. Is there more before the, the boss boss? Yes, so. Oh, we only have one food. Who gets the dragon fruit? Oh, lots of people want stuff. Can Pachi want- Dragon sword, yeah! Dragon sword. Give him the dragon sword. In a yes. stupid jester outfit. Slow King. And Snorlax are racist. <laughs> What a, your adventure, uh, you're blocked by a giant bear-like creature. It seems to be sleeping. It is still sleeping. Ancient spear sparkling mic. Ancient spear. Wow, why does Zealous look- Zealous looks like a fucking hentai character, what the fuck? He kinda always did, though. Well, that one looks like, a. Uh... That one looks the most fashionable. Oh, Popstar Corrin. It's not a phase! <laughs> oh, did I hit cancel? Cancel? What? I, I think I might have hit cancel. I'm gonna have to make sure I actually equipped it to him. Macho flower. It's veiny. There's no pink. Oh man. <laughs> oh Stop. yes. I am here to spice up the party. Witch gown. Oh shadow shadow queen, Judy. Wow, everybody's buying everything they need. Oh, it's just the, the hem is all the changes. Corn, did you put on your thing? Oh, hey, you can give him a new job. Uh, yes, you can- we reach the point that we can change anyone's job at any time. Oh man, all warrior party. <laughs> we could, but they'd be at level one. Yeah, that's true. Oh, stuff, that's what I wanted. Oh, yeah, yes. Like yes. Pangoro is a race that I could potentially play as. Mob Panda. Panda Bubba. Oh. Could have used that dragon slaying sword five minutes ago. How do you think we got the dragon slaying sword? We get we slayed the dragon and they, and they got the sword as a reward. We took some Don't spines be before it woke up. Pangoro are, ve are very honor-based, giving them a more lawful leaning in everything they do. Are they? I, according to this, yeah. But, okay, so that person, I don't think, understood the Pokémon. Because they're, like, kind of assholes. They're well, dark types. Aren't, well, aren't Yakuza honor-bound, though? Eh. 
I perceive Pangoro as like the Pokemon most similar to Yujiro Hanma. Well, then you can give him lawful evil. I guess Yujiro is lawful in his mind because he is the law. Wait, what happened to Kimpachi? He fell down a, a hole. <laughs> oh no. That's not good. Oh, there's one of those fuckers. Well, who's gonna die? Jack's gonna die. Oh, you better cast your spell. I, I I ain't got time for resurrection spell. I got, gotta get rid of this fiend. The other spell. Righteous anger. 50%. Let's go. Damn it! I mean... They take very little damage, too. She only just took the one from the lightning. There it goes. Good job. Kangoro mature around age 14 when they evolve from Pancham, and they can live to be 100 to 200 years old. Fiends are really? super, super resistant to magic attacks, but physical can still work. Oh, okay. Alright. So just hit him. Fire tornadoes. What a shitty scripted event that I assume it's scripted to just lose a party member early on in the route. Lose a party member. Unusually focused. Everybody's on fire. Fire elemental. Honestly, I was expecting my guy to use the cure, but uh, I don't know, maybe it doesn't fix burning. I'm gonna double back up and look at- oh, yeah, Meowth. So, apparently, according to this and the society, like, Meowth and Alolan Meowth hate each other, but- and they don't agree on anything except for one thing, they both hate Galarian Meowths. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, what's notable about Galarian Meowths? I remember their steel type and they were... They had like like spiky fur, and they evolved into a berserker. What was was there anything notable about their personalities that made them hateable? They were like they loved to fight, I guess, as well as collect round shiny objects. Who wants the cake? Judy wants the cake. Magic MP. Meowths usually live either on their own or form packs. If they do form packs, any treasures they find are kept in a large hoard. You know, like dragons. <laughs> Meowth names, unless they are living in a human society, are usually any language but common. However, lowland meowth names will often more than not be common. Galarian meowths usually have dwarven names. Oh, okay. Get it? Because they're they're, they're cat dwarves. It's like uh, cat dwarves, cat elves, and 
I, I guess that well, like elves and dark elves are like the the regular and a lowland meows. Yeah, and then dwarves are the colony. <laughs> no wonder they don't like them. <laughs> hey, you played... can put down the act. We're all meows here. Oh, there's two minotaurs. Well, you better. This seems like a good opportunity for righteous anger. Righteous anger. Be gone! Be gone. I love that that instead of just 999, it's just be gone. I wonder it doesn't work against bosses if he busted. That's like the that's like the only if it works thing that like actually works. That you would actually do. Well, 50% is a higher chance than the one-hit KOs in Pokemon. Those are 30%. Yeah. 50% is just a coin flip. It's like, t heads I win, tails uh, I'll eventually win. What do you think they do for a Zelda 3D All-Stars? Uh, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and Wind Waker. The... Maybe Twilight Ma Princess. Mango suggested Ocarina, Wind Waker, and Twilight. And it's... It's hard I to pick stick... three of the four, because they're all really important to the series. Majora's Mask I would keep, because that's a that's a classic game. That's a game that's like... It's also a sequel, though, so realistically, I, that would probably be the one that they would decide to cut, unfortunately. Oh. I mean, maybe. What? They'd also be ports, so... Like, if they, if they were actual remakes, then uh, it would definitely... If Ocarina got in, then Majora would also definitely get in, because they would use the same engine, and that would make it a lot easier to do. But if they were just ports, then yeah, it could be any of the any of them. It is a sh it is a crying shame. Galaxy Two is not on the uh, con collection. You still hear me, Jack? Yeah, I still hear you. Yeah, Galaxy Two was great. Galaxy Two, I think, was better. Uh, it was my favorite out of both of them. And it's a shame that uh, that they're like, no fuck, it. what the always make a 3D All-Stars 2. I, you know they wouldn't. Especially Skyward Sword, because that would be one of the ones that, like Galaxy 2, would take a lot to try to port it due to the motion control reliance. I think that yeah. was a big factor in why Galaxy 2 is not in the collection. <sighs> Disappointment. Galaxy 1 had the, uh, that had the thing where you pointed at the screen to, like, gravitate to things in space, right? Yeah, how'd they, how are they gonna pull that off? I guess... If it does require motion controls, well, the, the Procon can't do anything that precise, so they'd have to map it to, uh, joysticks. It, it, it seems like it. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Awesome. What? Mobians. Is that actually the name of the race? Yes, Mobian. Yeah? What? They, how how they, are they statted? Super high speed? Uh, let me see. Oh, you can choose one of several sub-races, which include Hedgehog, which are the, the fast ones. Bird, bear, wolf, rabbit, fox, and cat. Hmm. Yeah. And, uh, let's see, uh, so, yeah, if Mobians are, are any spectrum of the alignment, uh, it's, yeah. All Mobians are agile on their feet as they are adapted to running at fast speeds for long periods of time. There he is. There he is. Oh, we're, we're at the final. I should stop talking about D and D. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, ha, ha. Well, look who it is. 
We're ready for you, Dark Lord Ganondorf. We're almost over. Oh Use wow, the this Whittle is Adventure very long. Party going to beat me up? Aren't you just precious? And you came all this way to play with me. But playtime's nearly over. I'll just help myself to those cute little faces. That's not creepy. And your souls, and finally your lives! He's gonna take the souls out before... We're gonna go to hell before we die. <laughs> Alright. This has got to be a multi-phase fight. Oh, come on. Who you, final final boss with, with one phase? Is, that's super common. Every game does that. Lena fell asleep. Uh, well, we can fix that. I guess. Maybe not. Maybe we can't fix that. Lena. Oh, she, no, she woke up. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he's, wow. good, he's good at healing. He, he doesn't really have any uh, support spells. So other classes do that. Simply the Knight had a one phase final boss. Oh, come on. No. I can't even wake myself up. No dear. Woke up from the nightmare. Hey, he pulled a muscle in his sleep. <laughs> I do that. I do that occasionally. I like how Lena knows that Kenpachi is the one who you enlarge weapon for. Yeah. I mean, who else would you enlarge the bell? Sulking. Did you think you were doing well? Oh, you thought you were doing well. Oh, oh no, no, Jack! Okay, I get it. Ah! <laughs> Wait, again? Another one? That's cheap. It's okay. Kenpachi has a third eye. He can still fight. Ah! Pick should, out the minions first. Should I try the 50-50 the or should I just attack, you think? Uh I'd try the try the 50-50. It's not a see. boss. Damn it. Oh, wow well, that works. Thanks, Lena. And large Kenpachi! Wow, that wasn't enough. Time to face the facts! <laughs> I'm funny. I'm so... F I'm... S <laughs> what did, uh, what did fucking, uh, Kaiba say? Man, I'm... F man, I'm funny. I think it was that. Yeah, after, after he, like, uh, insulted Siegfried. <laughs> I am German, and I am mad at Kaiba, and that is my entire character. Have you Kenpachi forgiven me? Is no, okay. Slowly forgiving Jack for feeding him spicy food. You'd think Kenpachi could handle it. Yeah, what a baby. You know what? I got MP sprinkles. No, you can't do that. While we're at it. <laughs> Yeehaw! Jesus Christ. Pro cooking. Is 
Stop that. You are cheating. You're not allowed to use your god powers. That's not fair. He's oh, laughing. George. What's he laughing about? Oh. I am going to win. Look, he's totally Ganondorf. He's got the purple aura and everything. He's about to Warlock Punch. This Ganondorf looks like he's a cross between Ganondorf and fucking uh, Maleficent. I, he does, yes. Oh no, save me! Sure. Sure. I don't man, did we watch the Slayer's OVAs? Like, the ones that took place before the series? Yeah, we did. There was a giant robot version. There was one of those. There was also Wait. one where, uh, copies were made. Like, shadow versions of Lena and Naga. But oh, yeah? they, they were complete opposites, so L Lena was like a, a super girly pacifist crybaby. And she was useless in combat. And, uh, and Naga was like, what the fuck am I wearing? Yes. Oh, hey, we did no. it. We won! We beat the game! Yay! Is this is this gonna cop out? Are we gonna is the battle gonna resume after we divvy out the EXP and everything? I'm gonna guess, yeah. Ultimate delicacy! So <laughs> good you cannot imagine the shape of this food! It is just called the food. Close thine eyes as ye dine, lest ye be blinded. It's it's the chic symbol, and it's a little eye fella. Alright. <laughs> Jora? Is that you? Were you possessing Ganondorf? Ugh. What on earth? I feel so weird. Uh, this isn't my castle. I haven't <laughs> built one yet. Ha. Huh. Huh. You just beat the Dark Lord? <laughs> yep. Don't say I'm too surprised. <laughs> I knew you had it in you. <laughs> Everybody's just kind of like... Huh? Look out! Ah! Oh, we gotta fight Christopher Lee now. We gotta fight. This face comes with a cool new body. Talk about a makeover. It's the Darker Lord, Christopher <laughs> Lee. I knew it. <laughs> he can never be a good guy. He's always a bad guy. Except in Horror Express. Are you joking? I get great sage powers, too! Now you gotta say it as Christopher Lee. They're very similar voices. <laughs> this is even better than being a Dark Lord. I'm now an even darker Lord. <laughs> weird, corrupted, uh, great sage theme. It's just me, your mighty and infallible guardian. So you've gotten into quite a lot of trouble this time. So the Dark Lord's true form is that wispy little thing, eh? It possessed Ganondorf's normal human body? Now it's moved on to Great Sage Chris Lee. It's not just the body you have to worry about this time. The Great Sage's magic makes the enemy much more powerful. But you've come a long way. I'm sure you're pretty tough by now. Think you can save the world again from an even worse foe? Yes. I'd be much obliged. Great sage Chris Lee saved me. Now we must save him. How are we going to follow the Darker Lord? Hello again. I am a... <laughs> It's me again, the dragon. You look sad. 
Are you sad? I see the Darker Lord, is it? I can help. I like helping. <laughs> Hop on! Oh, we're all gonna... F <laughs> the never-ending story. A luck dragon. Why does Kampachi have to ride on the tail? He thought it'd be exciting. <laughs> Wait, what? There's a whole nother... So we just finished World 1. You're kidding me. This is... Kinda. I, I don't think it's that big. Just when we thought we were out, they pull us back in. It's like it's World of Light all over again. Have you heard of the Traveler's Hub? No. no. <laughs> Clues in the name, really? It's a place for travelers to gather. You can find people from all corners of the world there. Okay. Really? No, I'm just fucking with you. I bet someone there might know a thing or two about this. Alright, let's go. Okay, so, oh no, those are the four lands that we've traveled through, on the bottom. Oh, we got new NPCs. Here we go. The fuck are you? Okay, Let's that's, uh, a penguin. What? You like the Happy Feet penguin? Just a penguin. Penguin. Yep. Uh, yep. You're a strange one, aren't you? You're searching for the Darker Lord. Oh, I, I remember now. It's Darker Lord Chris Lee. Wow, word travels fast. He sort of evolved from Dark Lord Ganondorf. I've got no clue where he might be. Somebody around town has to know where the feller's gone. After all, we got travelers from all over the world here. What a, what a well-traveled penguin. It's another inkling. Callie, singing chef. Hey there, bud. You ever heard of hamburgers? They say they're eaten in a mysterious land. Yes, America. They have a taste never experienced before. Make hamburger country. The chef, I have to try one at least once. I'm uh, I'm watching Metal Gear Five, and I was definitely not expecting the fucking Miller hamburger subplot. <laughs> with the with co talker, yes, <laughs> that's great. I just want a nice chemical burger. It, oh, did you get it the is Amazing. <laughs> what do you think of co talker? By the way, he's a fun dude. <laughs> I like him. This weird little Navajo old man doctor scientist burger enthusiast. <laughs> uh, he created the parasites. I want to eat the hamburgers from Peculia. Maybe later. Peculia. Good name for a country. What else is going on? Hey, Will Smith is back. Who are you, Amy Rose? Oh, that's uh, Zero Two. Sayori. No. no, who the... Oh, the, the Do Doki Doki Literature Club girl. What did my friend mean when he told me I'm stubborn? That's impossible. No way, no how. I'm not stubborn. Okay. All right, just hang around, Sayori. Let's not talk to that one. Singing thief, <laughs> Sayori. <laughs> it's all Sayoris everywhere. <laughs> I can't. This place is amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Didn't I just talk to you? It's like the 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 Family Guy sketch where Peter keeps coming back in a different costume to talk to the to get the free samples. Except one No, I'm the singing thief. I come from the countryside. I wonder if I don't fit in, or is it all in my head? Hmm. Shy, shy guy? Level 5th. Blukey. Oh, from Undertale. Oh, the horror of it all. We've got to do something and quick, I think. The abominable snowman is on a rampage in the powdered peaks. Everyone's in danger! I want okay. to do something to help them, but I don't think I can do anything by myself. 
golem you stick. Do, you get a very rare golem stick. That's okay then. When they find me, tell them I did my best. How big is this town? Oh, that is the town. We're okay, at the so town. Yeah, we can fly to all the, all the places now. And there's Peculia, and there's the Powdered Peaks. So Peculia... Is that Magicent? So, I understand this is this is basically the post-game, is that you come to the Traveler's Hub, and random NPCs spawn, and you get uh, random quests every day. Ah. Uh, it's infinite gameplay. This so do you ever life. fight the Darker Lord Chris Lee? Uh, yeah, no, you, you, yes, you do not just let him roam around forever. And then someday we'll go get that filthy Darker Lord. You know what, I, I, I keep mentioning, I'm rewatching Slayers, it's, it's amazing that the world has survived as long as it has with these god monsters just walking around the world, apparently wanting to destroy everything. Well, you know, they can't because the world is just that. Like, they get to they get to Season 2, Hellmaster Fabrizzo, with absolute control over life and death. And he wants to return the world to chaos. So what the fuck's been keeping him for the last thousand years? He needed Lena to do it, if I remember my... Well, uh, he wanted stories. her because it'd be faster, but what's stopping him from just going around killing everyone? Because it'd be slow. He'd have to go town to town, over and over, and oh, get repetitive. but that's it'd, hard. It'd get boring. It'd get boring. Like, like, after the 50th time, just wiping a city off its map, you just... You would just... It would just be, like, boring. Yeah. Why don't you try defeating the rare monsters in Lotus Lake? Oh, okay, sure. Let's do that. Yeah. Fight the rare monsters. Think I might just skip this little adventure. Not like I could beat those fiends. No, you're coming with us. Fuck off. Are you new? Singing it's Cat Yuri. Yuri. Yuri from uh from Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh yeah, she it's a new one. selection. Some of the randos left. Can't grasp the two true form of who that person is. <laughs> who Weren't you, is Sayori? Purple guy. Okay. Oh, from uh, from Five Nights. Yeah. I'm glad you caught that because I would. I I was struggling to remember. Well, I'm going here, I guess. This is where the rare monsters are. I've been here. Oh, here's a here's a Slayer's fanfic. Lita Inverse, Keto Mistress. Okay. So After just... desperate Mazuku banish her to the Bleach World, Lena becomes a powerful captain in the Gote 13. She later leaves the Soul Society, then even later on returns. So what's her but what's her Zanpakuto? Does she have one? I'm looking it up. Well, I'll tell you when I find it. In the meantime... <laughs> uh, she earned the nickname Hollow Spooker. As opposed to Dragon Spooker. Yeah. Get some snurps. Is this is that just what this is? It's a whole map full of snurps. Fight the snurps. Get some tea and cake. I guess we should start uh, rotating our party out again to keep everyone leveled. Yeah. Sure. Oh, hey, MP candy's better. Eat more candy! The catalog arrived. Oh, okay. You can browse it from the spend gold screen. Wait, a catalog? We can just buy stuff now? I guess we can, uh... You can just buy clothes that we already have? 
I guess we want to get uh, another copy of so them if, if someone starts a new job or something. Okay. Kid out the party, whole party with the same stuff. Okay, so yeah, it's just all the all the things that we've owned so far. Jack wants to be with Kenpachi. Oh, they're they're gonna make up. Yes, I'm sorry, Kenpachi, for speed for giving you. Sp <laughs> being so mean by cooking you spicy food. I didn't realize you were such a baby. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> this game is a bitch to 100% all metals, all enemies, max level. I would imagine, it, well, because it's... It's more or less random after the point that you... You know, clear the Darker Lord and get post-game. Then so, that you get... Which, if they did go, like, full-on roguelike with this concept, that'd have a lot of potential, right? They, I think it would, a roguelike uh, JRPG. It style. would be, a, well, like a me RPG. It'd be more, uh... It'd be more interactions with the Miis than this game yeah, has, that'd I be... think. Starleaf. Might need to be maxed just to finish post game. Uh, just to like beat the dark lord, darker lord. Oh, we can't beat the darker lord right now because. Well, if it does come to that, we'll have infinite grinding that I could do off camera if needed. Unable to see anything but the transcendent glow of perfection. It, it sucked. It fucking sucked. Who cooked this? Who cooked this? I want to talk to them! Kenpachi doesn't like that. What was that, cake? Yeah. And tea. MP and speed. Yeah, give it to Lena. Oh, that's good. Le Lena would be the, the most, uh... the least picky about food. Experiment flask. Let's get it. I think max level is 50, if I remember correctly. Level 50 to beat the Darker Lord? I do Damn. They're not gonna require that. Alright, I'm back on the D&D page. I'm gonna see... Karibo? Like, from, po from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. Let so it's just all about cloning. Yep, it's just, it's Karibo. <laughs> it's just a cute Death little Death battle, Pokemon. Karibo versus Naruto. <laughs> that, that's good, because apparently Jinchuruki is like a is like a race that's statted out, so you could theoretically build a Naruto and a Karibo. Physical description, Karibos are tiny furry creatures. Their bodies are, yeah, we know what they look like. Right, we got a scientist, it's a good attack class. I don't know, uh, flower, pop star. Let's do that for now. Karibos, for the most part, are almost always solely good. Wasn't there a, there, there was a, the five Karibo brothers could be fused into like an evil looking Karibo. Yeah. Or a monstrous looking Karibo, anyway. Aww. Oh. There are some post-game classes. I I'm aware of those, too. You need to get... there. So there are uh, special quest lines you can do that randomly appear, and once you do them, you get access to uh, two final classes. <laughs> Gun Gundam? Gungan. 
Gungan? Oh, Jar Jar. One, one, yeah, Star Wars. Yep. Ever wanted to play as Jar Jar? What, what are the strengths of a Gungan? Your charisma score increases by one. <laughs> if there's anyone that screams charisma to me, it's Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> I got cure.exe. Restores a friend's HP and MP with scientific wizardry. Cool. I guess the bonus EXP. So so now you just do quests until you level up to level 50 something? Uh well I don't I don't know when exactly we unlock the next route. I assume we'll have to visit the three places that we had the places we haven't at least once. Like we'll have to go to Peculia and the Shivering Peaks. Yeah, sounds seems like it. Do you guys remember what we have to do to unlock the way to the Darker Lord? I took the Will Smith quest because it seemed like the uh Seem like the one that would lead to new area. Nope. Or yes. Or I guess that is. It's peculiar. Let's take on quest from the Traveler's Hub. It'll work out. Yeah, that's kind of that's what I figured. I wonder. So Spelunky Two coming end of the month, but it's about two weeks away. It's gonna be a day one stream, or as close to it as I can manage. Yeah, I'll get. I'll find a way to get it. I'm curious how much, if any, like customization there's gonna to be to the hub area, because that's an advertised feature of Spelunky Two is that you like collect characters that just hang around the base camp. Yeah. Emergency. Oh, sick. Oh. Carolina. That time of the oh, month. She's she's shit <laughs> damn, that's a good reference. I'm not being an asshole, that's actually a plot device in like season one of Slayers, and then they, they don't use it anymore after that. Because it's dumb. Demonic flask. Hell yes. Yes, demon flask. Come on, Gower, even you know what that means? Well, there was an old there was an old mystic in the village who had to close up shop once a month, and that's all I knew. Rare enemies, huh? Now that has to go to a, that has to go to the white snark. I don't remember what's special about white snarks, but I, I kind of want to kill it. Maybe maybe they give you better food. The mood is tense after a long journey. I'm sorry. That's just it now. Fuck you! I, I like her, I like her, uh, her vacation wear, scientist. <laughs> I am a vacation scientist. White snurps give you mad EXP if you can tame one. Does oh, okay. the, does the cleric spell work on them? Because they're not boss monsters, technically. They'll try it. Try it. If it works, then... Oh, the water snurp hits hard. Then again, he is a flower. Love you all. 
that you showed me a uh, video just before we started. Uh, life Grips. Life Grips. <laughs> of just a bunch of Death Grips lyrics taken from songs out of context and pieced together into something wholesome looking. Yes. <laughs> Do that with the I Death Clock. I love you so much. Life Clock. <laughs> life Clock. That's just Death Clock if they were uh, if they were a Beatles band rather than a metal band. I wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold. It's just the beat. It's just like fake Beatles. It's alternate universe Death Clock. The beat you upples. It's like the death. It's like if Death Clock was a children's cartoon. Yeah. We that all live universe. in a giant Viking ship. Remember when they turned Banana Splits into a horror movie? <laughs> did they, did that ever come out? I think it did. Let me check. <laughs> Let me check. Banana. Splits. God damn! Yeah, you can you can buy it now. It's an hour and thirty minutes long. Well, it didn't even get a theatrical release. Did it? I, I let me let me. We have to look up Wikipedia for that shit. Hour and thirty minutes. It's barely a the least amount a movie could be. Um, I've I've seen a movie that was like only an hour. I think yeah. that was Corpse Bride was only an hour. Oh yeah, Corpse Bride was very short. It was oddly short. Why was it so fucking short? Like, was there just not no no more movie than that? I don't know. It had Tim Burton's name on it. They figured that would sell it. It kind of did. Tim Burton, why you got it? I have to sell the movie. Wa ha 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 ha. Uh, let's see. Why are you putting Johnny Depp's ass on the screen in every movie? Well, I have to sell the movie. I've never heard of any of these stars. Of the Banana Splits movie? Yeah. Thank you, Promestine! Oh god, okay. Uh, Sci-Fi's Vice President of Development uh, was, a, was, a, was involved. The hoo-ha what? Uh... The development of a Banana Splits film adaptation was announced in February 2019 following an original idea from Joss Van de Hout, Sci-Fi's Vice President of Development, about turning the project into a horror film. Okay, so the sci TV channel Sci-Fi was involved. Yeah. Oh, I, oh no, I'm sick now? Yeah, Jack is sick. Damn. The Banana Splits movie premiered at the San Diego Comic-Con on July 18th, 2019 and was released on August 27, 2019 by Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. It was then aired October 12th. Critics. The Banana Splits movie received genuine, generally positive re reviews from critics. As of August 2020, 71% of the 17 reviews are positive. Huh. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh... That's interesting. I guess because Five Nights, it's like Five Nights at Freddy's, except with a... Uh, except real. Give me that snurp. Johnny snurp derp. Uh-oh. Snurp a derp a derp. Go for it. Take him out with the... Look out! They're probably really powerful. I think this is like the Amazing Daisy equivalent. Hit him with the righteous anger. Come on! Ah! That doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't work. Oh, thank you, Nathan! Try Another turn! You, you're a bro! Got him! <laughs> So Anything to work. help you banish something to the underworld. Mm, brutal. 2000. That's it. Get 
Is it strawberry snurps? What do those give? Tasty snurp. I think you get uh, very rare food items from them. Oh, okay. And you don't need to. God damn. Nathan Explosion as a fucking, like, J pop idol is weird. Just. Snurp radish. Snurpy, snurp, snurp, snurp. Oh, hello. It's it's boss snurp. He's pissed off. Well, guess what's not gonna work? Very rare snurp. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of green snurps. Oh, <laughs> you got... Nathan Explosion got fucked up. So, uh... Does that count as a boss? I assume so. I think I should try it. You can if you want. Let's, uh... It's worth a, it's worth a try. He's tough. He's not taking a lot of damage. Oh! He ran. Is this like, uh, can we come back here and there's like a random, random set of snurps, Chen? I guess it's every time we get the quest to come here. Well, you man, can I should have tried it. I, I assumed it was a boss because like the presentation and the music. Maybe it was. I'm fine. He's... I kind of want to do a D and D campaign where it's all just like characters that we, what the money fan like. money fan. It's all characters it's all, uh, from anime we watch, like yeah. Yujiro as like a as like a as like a final boss for like a dungeon raid, where it's just a dojo for scoundrels. They fight a bunch of monks. Snarp radish. Used food to boost HMP by 25 or more. Alright, what's new in the Traveler's Hub? <laughs> what, another race? Uh, a class, Dark Lord. Just scanning through it, and this line's, uh, just, uh, just, um... Is it stuck out? A specific Dark you, Lord from anything? Just Dark Lord. It just says Dark Lord. It doesn't seem to be a Dark Lord of anything in particular, but I could be wrong. What's the wrong that yeah. stood out? How's it going, then? Oh, okay. I, I finished your quest. Here's the- there's a line that, uh, that stuck out. If you want to be a good aligned Dark Lord, just replace the word evil with happiness and understand that you channel joy and bliss when you want to deal necrotic damage to all those farmhands. Okay. Hi, Joy! Oh, I'm melting! That's just, that's Amelia. <laughs> except, except, uh, it's like if Amelia was a necromancer. Power of justice! Oh god, my arm is rotting off! I forgot that, uh, until I, I got to season two of Slayers again, that, uh, Sylphiel, the, like, other Gowry girlfriend, white mage girl, yeah. also eventually learned the dragon slave. And no other black magic. She's a white mage who also happens to know the ultimate black magic spell. Yeah. What a I bizarre guess. class in a video game that would be. <laughs> so I am joined by a uh, Pope Blukey. Oh, we're oh doing we're doing the powdered that. Powdered peaks. We're doing that quest. I guess so. It was that or cool. Peculia. Uh. Hey, uh, you can play as a Quincy. You want to play as a Quincy? Not particularly. 
I don't know, there's something about being a Quincy that I don't think sounds great. I don't think I want to be associated with them. Gone to waste. Get it? What the? Oh my god, this Christmassy music. Does it say which uh, personality traits are, like, the best? Uh, probably. You could look up, like, a tier list online of people's opinions. Me... So... Be, uh... Flower bed. Fill the party with nature's energy, restoring everyone's HP. Yeah, the flower is very similar to the cleric, but with a uh, little bit of attack potential, I believe. The best personality types and what they do. Remember people saying that cool or cautious were the better ones. Okay. Frog juice. Kind will protect allies about to die, doesn't work on AoE techs, and share their healing items. Great for tanks, however, they'll rarely try to convince weak enemies to leave and won't get EX. So Nathan Gen and Promestein are fighting. Why? What happened? I don't know. Like, stepped on our, someone's foot or something. Oh. Something dumb. It's always something dumb in this game. Hey, Ron and Akane are fighting. Oh, really? What happened? Who fucking cares? Okay, so this this game game revolution uh, doesn't really help. Uh, so S tier is cautious, which is laid back without the drawbacks. Laid back, energetic, and cool are A tier. Stubborn and airheaded are uh, are B tier, and kind is the only one that's actually bad. Which means that. It's cr it's cruel to be kind in Metopia. I don't remember if we have any kind characters. We have at least I think we have one. Oh, if you do a cool thief, you can dodge attacks forty five percent of the time. Huh. Rock costume. Halloween outfit. Magic armor. We're gonna get the uh, sexy leather Zelos. <laughs> Gimp Zelos. Remember, you have the cat. You have the catalog. I know the catalog can only rebuy items that we've already bought. Ah. Uh, so if we like took Zelos and made him a warrior level one, we could buy all the clothing that we've already bought for Zelrog or for Kenpachi. By the way, um, there is another class, Sailor Scout. Somebody made a Sailor Scout class. Okay, they vary pretty wildly between all of them. How's that classed out? All right. So, uh, so you gain an animal uh, familiar in a fighting style uh, on level on first level. Any, like one of several fighting styles. Choose one of the following options: archery, defense, and great weapon fighting. And two weapon fighting. But none of the Sailor Scouts do those. This is D&D. &D. This, this, it, classes are are more of a guideline than an actual hard and fast thing. Oh, this is classes, uh, second, not races. So, second level, you gain the power of friendship. Oh, okay. You become immune to being charmed or frightened so long as there is an ally within 30 feet. The allies within 30 feet have an advantage on saving throws. So why do they okay. why do they call that Sailor Scout instead of Magical Girl? It, it's a lot broader than specific Sailor Scout mechanics. At third level, you've learned to harness the power of your heirloom and transform into your Sailor form. You may transform into your Sailor form for one minute or until you are knocked unconscious as an action twice. So you don't even get a transformation until you level up a ways. 
All Sailor Scouts, uh, you gained at a third level. All Sailor Scouts in Sailor form add their charisma modifier to all their statistics. So, so this is a charisma based uh, Imagine Usagi attempting to fight crime without a transformation. <laughs> Just, I'm gonna kick your ass. She I'm would last cool. five seconds. That'd be our shonen, uh, our shonen sailor, uh, sailor moon uh, adaptation. Yeah. Also, apparently this goes off of charisma, and as a meowth, you gain additional charisma, so you can potentially do a meowth scout. race with a class of sailor scout. <laughs> Name of the moon, I'll punish you. Meowth, that's right. Uh, so. So you gain one trans uh, transformation, and then third, sixth, twelfth, and seventeenth, you gain additional transformation. But if you hit level twenty, you can transform at will. Cool. Okay. See you later, Mango. See ya, Mango. You become a medium humanoid creature, regardless of what your original form was. <laughs> Only when transformed, though. Yeah, so you can be a Meowth Sailor Scout. You can transform. You transform into a pretty girl. So. If you were, perhaps, for example, a king of the Koopas, and you transformed... <laughs> I see, I get the picture. Finishing move. <laughs> this is good, I- this is- this is imaginative. I like the fact that they thought of this stuff. Moby and Magical Girl. It's, uh, it starts off as Sonic, and then he turns into the Koshi Ricto version of Sonic. <laughs> I've seen... That's the <laughs> by transformation. The way, by the way, if you if you can, uh, anybody who's watching this who's interested, if you can, you should look up the Tight Kubo Sonic manga. You mean, uh, Koshi Ricto? Koshi Ricto, sorry, not Tight Kubo. Although, as far as we know, happened. the Bleach author has not done any any Sonic mangas. But what if he did? What would that be like? Oh, I, I forgot. Um, Koshi Rikdo did another manga recently. Oh yeah. It was. It's called Burn the Witch. Okay. Is it? I haven't. I assume another comedy like Excel Saga. Sorry, not Koshi Rikdo. Tight Kubo. Oh. Yeah, I, I knew Kubo. about Tight Kubo's doing another project. Yeah, burn. It's called Burn the Witch. That was announced at the same time as the uh, Bleach final season. I think it's out already. The uh, the the manga. Yeah. So. Snow milk. Okay. Did this come from a snowman? The snow milk. Yeah, a snow a snow woman squeezed her uh, breast and milk came out. And then. There you go. Sunflower. Ah, no thanks. Hey, cool. They're all level 15. Let's go to the, uh... Let's get the B team. E team ready. Continue. What do you got for us, Steve Harvey? Just a minute there. Who has a never ending thirst for fun and games? How do you like Steve to play? Who Harvey. am I? Oh man, I wonder if that's a, a custom class. Is uh, his fucking game, game show, show host. host? Let me see. Ooh, it's nope. prickly wife Lois. It's your boy! What would you what would that entail? You just spawn like uh spawn a, a game show stadium wherever you are, wherever you happen to be. If a uh, if creature attacks you, you get to ask them a question, and if they can't figure it out, they get a disadvantage on attack rolls. So it's a debuff buff debuff class. Yes, and uh, and also you have the ability to give your party members quizzes, and if they win, they get magic items. It's just it's that that mean old lady from Pokemon. <laughs> well, she's a fairy. I, you gotta 
Quiz you gotta fairy. charm her. That's 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 what happens. We didn't we didn't understand we were dealing with a fae. We had we had to have Aztec warrior. <laughs> It's an oh. Ice Maiden. Ice Maiden. Let us dance. Cat is like the ultra heavy damage class, weirdly enough. Oh, is it? Like it the takes cat... takes two cat... turns to attack and then deals a ton of damage. Ah, so cool cat is like is like a, a great one. Boxing gloves. But but it he scratches. No. I'm a martial artist. This is a power up. I can punch better now. Want to see Corin beat the shit out of Yujiro Hanma? <laughs> Corin versus Han. You're just a cat, or I may be just a cat, but I can kick your ass. And you're just an asshole. Okay, I read a fanfic in which uh, Yujiro got beaten the, the fuck out by a printy from Tuskaya. Okay. He was like, what? How could I lose to this one? And Prinny was just like, dude, I won! Are our Prinny's powerful? Um, they're like servants of demons, so, yeah. Oh, demons, you say? I wouldn't know a thing about that. Yeah, Zealous would have a Prinny, because Prinny are like the souls of, uh, of, like, dead people that have to work off their, uh, karmatic debt in order to get into heaven. That's rough, buddy. Dude! And they all look like penguins. You've seen him before, you haven't no and you haven't known it yet. Let me look no, I, no, I know what- I know what they are. I've seen them. They're like, uh, little penguins with bat wings. Yes. 3,700. Motherfucker, I'm a pretty. Wasn't there a, uh... Wasn't there, like, a, like a manga? Like, I, I can be the hero, too, or something about a pretty. That's a game. Pretty, can I be the hero now? Oh. Okay, okay, so I looked up pretty, right? And apparently one of the links was a link to King George the Fourth, a.k.a. Prinny. Oh, okay. <laughs> George the... Wasn't aware of that history. <laughs> he was also known as Prinny, apparently. Uh, who wants magic? You want some magic tears, Nathan? He doesn't like tears. I... You think you you would like... Like it? I guess that? Lena loves tears. Yeah, the tears of... Yeah, we, we ran out of bandits, so we've had to uh, start raiding the seas for pirates. Spiked gloves. There we go. Get him a Nerf microphone. <laughs> Reporter Mike. Judy joining the 90s club.
Yay, we can keep going. Oh yeah, there's a quest we have to do. Fuck. Oh, so we only ha get to, uh... What if we only get to go to these areas, like, once during the quest, and then next time we come back, it'll be a new, like, map and everything? Oh, yeah. I guess... I guess that makes sense. Speaking of printies... These are, like, halfway between normal penguins and the uh, Mario Odyssey birds. <laughs> you know what? They look better than other other creatures in this game I've seen. So what were the, uh... What, what were the penguins called in, uh, Evangelion? The penguin? There's oh, only there the one, one, and that was Pin Pin. He had claws, he had retractable claws for some reason. The monkey dropped a half-eaten HP banana. Corin, The fuck you doing? You can't eat uh that! I'm hungry. Waste not, want not. We should do some stargazing. All right, I'm done. Also, it's Into snowing. There's a clear star. sky. Touch the thing you want three times with a stylus. Do, do we it. want like equipment or money? I guess money's always good, right? Money. Money, money, money. I want a monster. Judy, what are you doing? Battle lust Judy just wants something to fight. <laughs> How much cash? Oh, 750. That's something. That's all right. It's rare that we get that scene, and don't have an in. We got peach jelly. You think we're gonna run into, uh, alternate versions of enemies? Oh, probably. Three colors, like, you mean? Uh, like a roast twerky. What the fuck would a roast twerky be? Just it would be a twerky, but steaming. Oh god. <laughs> god, no! Don't put that image in my head. To any of the Minotaurs or any of the fiends. I'm taking those fuckers out. Be gone! <laughs> I like that. That's a good ability. Just instantly. Again, the cleric doesn't seem like the best to have on autopilot, but it seems like the best to be in control of. Yeah, if you're gonna play as a cleric, you play as a, a cleric. You don't have a cleric to play. Bayonetta pitchfork. Wow, the cat goes through MP fast. Just pours it all into one giant attack. Feed me. So I don't remember how much of the post game there is before we go confront the Darker Lord. I, I want to say we even after all that, we've still gone through most of the game. So we probably only have, I don't know, another stream or two after this. I don't remember for sure, though. Probably one or two stream. We're like, we have to level up though. You, are we gonna do that on stream or off stream? Oh, off stream, obviously. The 
You want some snow milk? Delicious. A lot of people want stuff. Ritual staff. Yeah, sure. Looks like a uh, looks like an Overwatch weapon. Mercy about to bust some heads. <laughs> Alright, we gotta fight the snowman now. Uh, you think we should do the top path with uh, Gourmet or not? Uh... I'll, d I'll just go here. I mean, we don't know if we can come back here or not yet. Yeah. Worst case, we just miss out on some Dio grub. That's him, the abominable snowman. The abominable The, the abominable. Probably a boss. It's just White Donkey Kong. I think we fought this enemy model before, just not white. Oh, is that- no! I think we're fucked. That's not good. Hmm. Well. I can't restore to life, and I don't have, like, uh, state cure sprinkles. I'm assuming we'll get them at some point, because there's a fifth slot left. Yeah. Maybe we'll get unfrozen at some point. That'd be nice. All right, now get now get back and and uh, heal Judy. Stubborn cat isn't going down. Still taking a lot of damage, getting frozen though. Heal the cat. Should probably heal myself too, because I got lots of sprinkles. And I'm gonna revive Judy. Yeah. Oh, oh he's thank, doing it. Thank you, friend cleric. No, he, she couldn't be revived. Oh, uh, what? Is that just because it can't happen, or does this cleric just suck? Uh, maybe. Resurrection. I is think there maybe only it's a like a chance of it happening. Revive! Damn. No, she couldn't be revived. No. Oh is god, that Yeti barely took any damage. Are we, again, just too low level to do this shit? We weren't struggling with any of the enemies here. No. It's a hard boss. Try, try it again. Right. I don't know if we're getting really unlucky or if there's just some reason it can't happen. Okay. Oh, Zelos. You're gonna you're gonna give them all like. Uh... I could go hyper. Should I make yeah, should I make Corrin hyper? Yeah, give them all meth. All of them. Yeah. Okay, no. I think Zelos is like uh, needs his skills to do anything productive. Oh, this damn stupid it. ice punch. You are ice now. Come Do on. It. Hey! Finally. I owe you one. How long was I out? <laughs> Too long. Don't be surprised when I tell you this. You've been asleep for nine years. <laughs> Hold him down. Sedate him. Uh, guess 
guess I'll just attack. I don't have any useful- I don't have any attack spells. Wait, can I, uh... Oh no, that cures, uh... That cures the Hyper. I thought that was gonna unfreeze oh. Zelos. You fool. Well, you got another Hyper. Just- just- just give him more... Always more Hyper. Oh, can this... Damn it. I thought maybe that would cure, uh, Frozen. And God again. damn it, Judy! God damn it, Corin! You really picked the wrong party to to pick. To... They're too low level. This is a very low hit point game for you, not for the opponent. Do we have this? No, probably not. Uh, I Judy, again! Oh, he's got a banana, he's fine. You're running out of HP sprinkles. I am, yes. Judy, you tried so hard. Corn's still in the back. Oh. I didn't, I didn't realize he'd been unfrozen. Good try, Righteous Anger. It's boss. Oh my god, I hate that move. Hey. Nobody got frozen that time. That's nice. Happy about that. About halfway done. Uh... Well, if we could just keep all the party members alive for a couple turns, that'd be great. Just attack, don't try to resurrect. Nobody cut. Panacea. Uh, yeah, I can do that. No! Could this be it? Oh, that worked out. I like how Corrin was like, could this be it? So, Zello stealing bananas. Other cleric has given up on reviving Judy. Maybe he ran out of mana. I don't need it. What a dick. Yeah. About time. Hey, he did it. Warren's gonna help me cure, somehow. I like you! This way, princess! One more t It's very slowly happening. Uh, any anyone need a cure? Zelos. I can't attack. I ain't got shit for attacks. We Probably needed two likes. clerics perpetually trying to resurrect Judy. In order to, to, to oh, slog our way through this. Uh, up. Oh. Put back. Oh good, he knows par Panacea. Yeah. Oh, I can't cure Zelos. No, because he's he's in back row. Just just beat the shit out of him. I guess because I have like uh, boosted my attack stats so much, I, I do okay even as a cleric. Yeah. That was <laughs> that sure was a. Uh... Oh Judy, give it. Oh, okay. Gorilla, Gorilla protein. protein. 
The poor abominable snowman. Must have been artificially created by the darker lord. Christopher Lee is a wicked one indeed. Oh, okay, got some golem steaks. Some very rare golem steaks. Yeah, cooked rare? Oh man, that must be delicious then. Man, I oh, can't wait to get like... back to the inn. Eat my golem steaks. Hi, I'm Lonk! Fine. <laughs> I do like ice Ow. sculptures in my ah. image. Fuck, I banged my knee. Hold on. Ow! Emergency. Jack is unable to battle. Sorry, Zellos, I ain't got no gold for you. Marty! Starry eyed thief. Not getting a lot of different dialogue. Who could this be? Is it Sayori? The singing scientist who loves robots. Nabbit? No, sorry, Bonnie. No! Oh, really? That's not Punster good. your cat, Waluigi. Yep. Okay, I guess we just have to do, uh, just have to do Cowan's hey, mission. We gotta go get hamburgers. I found it! Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, give me a sec. <laughs> I'm back, what I miss? <laughs> uh, we, we, we went back and we started the hamburger quest. Oh, cool. Get, a, get that hamburger. <laughs> uh, Bob. We we'll go to Peculia to get all our burgers. So it's just Equestria. Pecul is Peculia. I, I guess. It, it's Discordian Equestria. <laughs> they do call this land Peculia. The fruit on the trees looks like candy. Let's lick so them. So... Uh, parents and I are watching through Voyager and we got through a couple of uh, Q episodes and I basically told uh, told them that yeah uh, John Delancey plays a character in My Little Pony it's basically the same character yeah <laughs> they're they like oh that's interesting react. it's a running nose Jack that's better than twerky Running nose and white bread. We're gonna get some weird enemies in Peculia, aren't we? Yes. This is probably where we'll get to Twerky Mark II. Gonna have like a bright pink ass or something. It'd be like Ben Pants from uh, from Cow and Chicken. Was that a character? Yeah, that's the red uh, devil guy. Oh, I thought his name was just red guy. Yes, but his name is also been pantsed, depending oh. on a. Uh, okay. Depending on like what kind of character, he goes by many different names. Oh, 
Judy and Zelos have a very low uh, relationship. We gotta, we gotta fix that. We gotta, we gotta play Hitch. Some. What? But he. Uh, it... And. Uh... I didn't hear any of that. Oh what? Hold on. Can you hear me now? Uh, yes. Somebody ships Philia and, uh, people ship Philia and Zelos. Well, yeah, the show did. Yeah. Dragon Demon. Hey. We oh, got fragrant tea, MP, and magic. And a sandwich. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. I'll take a BLT sandwich. Oh, I've already had it. Kinpachi, you like BLTs? Loves them. Out of money again. Can you hear me, Jack? Yeah, I can hear you. We're out of cash. Let's go to Peculia to get... Oh, we're gonna get a bur... Oh. I thought, for some reason, Steve Harvey was, like, the quest... Uh... Maybe he's got the hamburger. Y'all get... You got a tasty burger for us? What was... Were the burgers in, in Pulp Fiction from a plate... A specific place? Were they White Castle or something? Big Kahuna Burger! Big Kahuna Burger. That's a tasty burger. You might have to have a drink of Sprite to uh, wash this all down. Go to, mm, uh, that hit the spot. Go to the Shore Shack. Get the hot burger. By the way, uh, the Big Kahuna Burger. Uh, that's one of the many logos I have on a on a Pulp Fiction mat for Fire Pro. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I just got some bananas. Yeah, I mean, they're useful. You keep like saying no, they're not useful, but I'm but nom they are nom. useful. This is the texture is mysterious. The mouth feels an enigma. The cream simply divine. Words cannot <laughs> express this food stuff. Mystery tastes delicious. I'm the Roving I Gourmet. Dio, Dio. Roving Gourmet. Mysterious crepe. I don't know, I don't go for a crepe. I like crepes. <laughs> oh, we're going to like, uh, there's wormholes all over the place. What do you think of the music in this game so far? It's fine. It's a bit, uh, it's, it's whimsical. Some people seem, seem to really dig it. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's a soundtrack. Yeah, it, again, it's very comical and whimsical. It's not like... weapons. No, I'm not gonna take the fucking bananas route, thanks. <laughs> Bread. Just bread. We're fighting bread. <laughs> We're entering the territory of earthbound enemies now. Dude, this is Earth. This is Magicent. Magicant. Was Magicant in Earthbound? Yes. Yes, Magicant was in Earthbound. I, I watched a playthrough of it recently. I just, I maybe I just zoned out during that part. That's where. That's where things get really weird. Like. So I don't blame you for zoning out. <clears throat> I haven't watched uh, Mother 3 or Mother 1 yet. Vinny never played Mother 1, and I don't think he ever plans to. 
It's basically Mother 2, but uh, with the difficulty of Dragon Warrior. Like, so if that's your thing, then uh, then then uh, Mother 1 will, is right up your alley. Come on, you guys can take the nose. Golden spiked gloves. Golden gloves, huh? Yeah, those are rich Golden Glove Awards. L look at that majestic figure. <laughs> He's worked out. He was like doing, uh, he was doing, uh, crunches the entire time he was in bed. Zelrog wants to see Promestein. With a present? Is it something weird and sciency? Eh. A violin. Wow! Uh, she likes to play the violin. I would have liked a violin. Oh, that one dude would have also liked the violin. You know which one? Which one? Uh, the guy from uh, from Hunter Hunter. Was there a guy who wanted a violin in Hunter who, Hunter? Who could play the who played the violin? I forget his name, but you oh, know who poof. I'm talking about. Yeah, poof. I forgot because that wasn't like related to his powers or anything. He's just. Sire. Some fragrant tea. And a nice sandwich. So we're all up to level 15 now. Oh, now, now we're in a spooky forest. Okay. There's quite a quest for a hamburger. Storm. Oh, is that the boss? Uh, no. Oh, damn. What is this place? We were on the plains a moment ago, and now we're in the forest. I don't know how good a Jotaro me you could make. We haven't seen any Jotaros yet. Yeah. Oh no, they're fighting again. Me, me, me. Noses are upside down, they don't look like noses. They look like something else. You know what? They even even as noses they still look like yeah. something. 
think that was intentional. I'm sure it was. It's a mushroom, Luigi. That's what we get from the noses, is the fragrant tea? Yeah. It's fragrant. What are you two talking about? Got a lot of time. Time for a new look! It's K-Pop Jack. <laughs> Kenpachi looks kinda like Robin. Like from Teen Titans? Yes. Which is because of the outfit? Yeah. Just, she's just... just... That episode when everyone dressed as Robin. Let's go. Back out to the desert. Should we go to the desert or should we go up this way? Uh, go up maybe. Right. Peculia's kind of a bitch to navigate. Thanks for all the clearing, uh, healing. I think clerics are the best. You do so much good for everyone. Yes, you're cool. You fix my Could... bad back. Not that kind of cleric. But why not? That'd be, like, super helpful. That's not how that works. I don't think it works like that. What if Amelia said, Renounce your evil ways and become human? And Zello said, Okay. <laughs> then then you'd have I'll the try. changelings from from my little pony. They just they just had to tell them, and it's boom. It was that simple. They just had to decide to be good, and there they uh, there they go. <laughs> oh! I didn't even need to use the the spell. I just kicked its ass. <laughs> Man, I wish more clerics were like were like capable in hand to hand. That's the dungeon fighter online priest. Yeah, the best. Barbarian cleric. I guess that's kind of what Simon Belmont is. Or the Belmonts <laughs> in general. I and mean, they don't heal or anything, but they use holy stuff, holy magic. Holy items and big bruising hits. Get some bomble gum. One. Kuroshi wants a sunflower. That's nice and cheap. You can have your sunflower. Your sunflower. I, I'll miss muscle Kuroshi, but oh well. Judy can finally get her money fan. Flash it. Thank you. 
types of flowers. Ah, oh, it's just a treasure chest. So we're in the desert now. Just trying to get to the end of Peculia. Anything new going on with you? Uh... It's, uh... The sky is fucking weird. That's right, this is the first time we've streamed since the uh, smoke has befallen the state of Washington. The entire East Coast. Yeah, it's all yellow and shit. So I just, uh, I, I didn't go out yesterday, I just ate what I had in the house, which was, uh, boiled peanuts, which apparently exist. They had them at the <laughs> dollar store now, and I got them to try, and they, they were not good. I, I did not care for boiled peanuts. Boiled peanuts? It was a- they were in a can. They had brine. And you're supposed to heat them up like, uh, like be a can of beans or something. But they were still in the shells? And I thought maybe because they're boiled that would make the shells really soft and edible or something. But no, you just have to shell them and then they're like mushy peanuts inside. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? So those weren't great. And I had a I had a pie. The smoke was a little bit better today, so I got out got went out and got some food for the next few days. Yeah. Good idea. You got a pizza coming, right? No, uh, barbecue pizza was the other day. Oh. Like a barbecue chicken pizza? No, uh, barbecue is uh, getting ribs. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying like a barbecue pizza. No, the pizza I had was a white sauce, chicken, and mushroom, which is very good. Very good. Take a moment to calm down and groom your fur. Okay. Oh, you can't you can't make him hyper anymore because he'll just calm down and groom his fur. I, wait, wait, does that I, wait, is that all that does is cure hyper? Maybe it cures other states. Is cat now immune to states? <sighs> Who's sick? Judy. Man. Diseases. Is uh, disease is tearing through all our. Tasty, tasty cactus mm. juice. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I don't want to set out with three. You want to set out with four. I'll take Kuroshi. I'll take a mage. I guess Zelos, you, you can come. If I have to. <laughs> that's, a, that's an interesting uh, combination. You're a flower, huh? Does this go anywhere? I guess Steve Harvey is the gatekeeper. We must defeat him. Yes. We must defeat him in the game of Family Feud. Curtain Conundrum. Who could that have been? I 
could sense the brutality. <laughs> More bananas. I, mean, I guess they're good to have. Oh, there we go. This looks like the, uh, the goal. Have we reached hamburger? We, we've gone all this way to find a hamburger. The mystical land of burger land. This is the hamburger? Well, okay. Chow time. Tickets ass. I gotta beat you before I eat you. <laughs> I just love the, uh, just the uh, fucking... It ate Promestein. What? It, it ate, bur in Soviet Russia, burger eats you, what I are guess. You saying? I, I, I forget. I'm sorry. Oh, it was, uh, something to do with, like, y Yajirobe. Yajirobe. Yeah, Yajirobe yeah, versus uh, Yujiro. We can, we can probably take him. He caught just, Vegeta off guard. Yeah. Just Yajirobe yeah, comes from behind and like and like hit and like cuts uh, Yujiro. What oh. was that? I'ma eat you now. I wonder what demon tastes like. <laughs> I get it. There's a uh, there's a video going around now. Or it was of. I don't know if it's now or if it was uh, a little while a little while ago, of like. Uh, some dude dressed up in Joker makeup with, a, like, a giant prop hamburger. And the hamburger is smoking and he's shouting, CRAZY HAMBURGER! The fuck? And that, that's, that's the video. It's the crazy hamburger. Let's do the crazy hamburger. Must be some kind of a uh, like a comedic bit in a, from another country or something. Probably. We did it. We have defeated Berg. Berg is ours now. Promise, Stein, you're getting a bonus. That's that's a big hamburger. <laughs> Who would have thought we were almost hamburger meals? I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. Man, I didn't know you'd be a fucker and take the whole thing for yourself. Best not to dwell on it. Here, have a thousand coins. There, that's good. You know anything about Darker Lord Christopher Lee? I know this person is dark and lordly. Well, that was useless. Indeed. Damn you, Lunk, and your photos. Judy has returned. Oh man, I missed out on a giant burger. Fuck. It's okay, we brought you back leftovers. Burger so big it's obscene. He didn't even like it. It tastes like tastes like shit. Ah, eat shit. <laughs> that's that's a rap song. A cold rapper. Yeah. I eat shit. Yub dub 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 dub. Uh, 
Promestine. Have a plasma flask. Pla flask of plasma. Arena. That's dangerous. Ooh. Hundred fifteen magic power. I'll take it. So where are we going? Does it want us to do more in Peculia? No, send us back to the hub. No, we're done. Lucina. Yuri again. I love robots. Thespian mage Waluigi. <laughs> oh, he's become a mage, huh? All right. Is this person famous? <gasps> that reminds me, my friend ah, told me something. He's a Nimbus. That sounds like a good place to go. <laughs> Chuck Norris the cat. So cat I guess Chuck. that must be the next place to go. So that seems like Nimbus is on the way to the dark, darker lord. Yeah. So how are we gonna get there, though? Uh, we'll have to. We'll have to take Waluigi's quest. Oh uh, well. Now, if we save and quit, will will we still have it when we get back, or do we have to take the quest and then? No, no it'll it'll still be there. It's not uh, if it's story required. It's not gonna go away randomly or anything. Mm. But uh, that's it for the day. Yeah. We've gone for a little while. We'll uh, come back funny. next time, see how much we have left. <laughs> Probably another, I, I think another stream or two. two yeah, two you said that straight. last time. Uh, we didn't. I didn't know that, that uh, the guy would hop into Christopher Lee and turn us against us. I knew there was us. more of the game after the Dark Lord. I didn't think there was a whole lot. So, I, 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 we'd, we'd have another stream or two. We'll see. We'll see if we're right. up to do anything tomorrow or not. Yep. But uh, right. thanks well, for watching. Until then. See you next time. See you next time.